What's up everybody, Dante here. This is the new MacBook Air. This is the refreshed version. Got a new 10th gen chip in there. The magic keyboard as they call it. And this is pretty much going to be my podcast editor. I can edit my podcast on here. If I want to take notes, write a script. A little YouTube and a little Netflix. Maybe Disney Plus. I can do this all here with this computer right here. Now let me go and get into the actual specs of it. Now this is the baseline version. It comes with a dual core i3. 8 gigabytes of RAM, and it comes with a 256 SSD. For me, that's perfectly fine for what I needed to do. I'm not expecting this to be a desktop replacement. I'm just, I need this to be portable, light, able to manage little tasks, email, notes, edit the podcast, you know, nothing heavy because I don't really edit on a laptop when it comes to video anymore. I did it for a little while, tried to get into the whole laptop desktop replacement thing. It just wasn't working for me. It's really drained me trying to use that as a full-time machine it just throttled down all the time it stutters it the video playback was, uh, it's just terrible for me I'm not saying desktops don't have it but working on a desktop is a lot smoother as far as the process now coming from the previous generation i actually have the actual old one silver big thin big i said big thin big thick silver bezels and that terrible display that one had for the longest time, I never understood why they didn't give you a 1080p screen with that. They didn't even give you a 1080p screen. But with this one, this comes with, you know, the black thinner bezels, a retina display, which I still don't understand is that the FaceTime camera is still 720p. You spend over $1,000 for a computer and you can't even put a 1080p camera in there, which I don't understand. One of the new things they said that came with these new MacBook Airs, I'm about to say Pro, Mac, well, both of them, MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air, are these new speaker array and these new microphones. For what I've heard, don't sound that bad. I mean, I've never been like impressed by laptop speakers. A lot of people say, oh, well, they sound great and this and that. They sound like speakers to me. But for me, I really like using headphones because can really kind of get yourself immersed into whatever what you're doing and all the background noise you ain't got to hear so for me and it's plus when you hear to me laptop speakers always got that little little tinny sound that sound like they're a little very tinny from time to time if you turn them up too loud but that's just me other people may feel differently but that's just my opinion on that now the interesting thing is that if you have a edu email that you can get this for $8.99 so if you can get it for that price i definitely would recommend this laptop at the price point but don't expect this to be a laptop, uh, I said a laptop, a desktop replacement because this is, this is not that. This is not a desktop replacement. And please don't think you can just do your whole workflow from this. Not saying you can't do video edits and all those other things. But when you come from a desktop and try to use a laptop like this, you will see a big difference as far as performances, playback, all that. So for me, I would just use this for this. FaceTime with my kids, text my kids, you know, all those type of things that this computer is lightweight for, that's what this is for. One thing I want to mention also is that Apple kind of designed this computer not to be a powerhouse. Like they tell you basically, if you want high performance, go with the Pro models, the MacBook Pro 13 and 16 inch, because those computers allow their CPUs to clock at a higher speed for a longer period of time. This doesn't do that. So at a certain period of time, once it gets to 100 degrees Celsius, it's going to slow it down and throttle down. So don't expect this to be a powerhouse. So if you're going in there and you think about the air, you need email done, anything else lightweight, that's what this is for. If you need high-end performance, go with the Pro models. One thing about going with these new MacBook Pros and Airs that you have to get into the dongle life. I've gone and take that plunge. Right now, I don't have like a, a mini card reader or anything like that yet. So I've, I have I ain't find one I actually want to get yet. But that's another thing I want to try out and see. Is that it a big deal going... I understand I don't have an SD card slot anymore. So I have to get like a, a card reader to put in the side and kind of use. Well, I'm, I'm going to use this for about a month and just edit the podcast or do other things that would probably do some photo editing from time to time just to see like is this is a bigger issue as people made it out to be but for me i just I definitely want to see is is it a pain dealing with the dongle life but pretty much this is my little insight of the macbook air you know very light you see this very light um at the price point of that i definitely recommend if you need a uh, lightweight computer that you can just do minimal things with definitely recommend this 
Um, let me know in the comment section, anybody who actually has this. Do they like it? Do they don't like it? Let me know. Also, like I said, I was hoping that the MacBook Pro 14 inch that's supposed to be coming out sometime this year would actually came out before this because I actually did want to get that because if I needed to do a little video edit here and there, I was I could do it. I could still do it here, but I just want that little bit more power, you know, for personal reasons because, you know, you always want a little extra power when it comes to whatever you're doing. But that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button down below. Also, subscribe to see more videos. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.